Welcome back everyone. We're at Chalks Campground again. This seems to be the never ending campground uh, place. <laughs> so we're here, we are focusing on campsites 29 to 35. Uh, not much more to go after this, but this is where we're at today. So hopefully you enjoy it. If you want to check out the full rundown of this campground, check out episode three, Chalks Campground sites 15 to 20. While we're checking out the aerials, it is worthwhile me mentioning a couple of things I didn't mention in the previous episode. It is worthwhile bringing your own wood here, but you can pick off wood that's fallen off the ground. This is actually not covered under national parks, this is part of Forestry SA, which they do allow you to pick up wood off the ground. This section seems to have a few more facilities like shelters and even better equipped fire pits with a swivel, swivel plate. Not sure why, but maybe it's just to compensate for the fact that you are furthest away from the toilet and, and closer to the main road. So make use of them. Welcome to the first campsite we're checking out in this section, which is campsite 35. This is quite a big space, very open, still private, very flat, which is exactly what you want. You can't drive onto this campsite. Here you can see where we are compared to this campground. So not too close, but not too far away either. But it is closest to the amenities for this section. and we're moving along to Campground 34. Not quite as big as Campground 35, but still a very nice campsite. It's flat, it's got grass, it's got a fire pit. What more do you need? And you can see the toilet box in the background. So just a little ways to walk there. Now let's check out campsite 33, very similar to 34 similar size, similar distance to the toilet, uh, but enough space from each of the other sites to still be private. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you, we did see some kangaroos in the pine forest. Check them out. They do come up close to you. I wouldn't try and feed them, but uh, they were very cute. Now, at first glance, when you walk up to campsite 32, you think you're going to get that shelter. Sorry to disappoint, but that shelter is actually for campsite 29. But this campsite is actually quite big. And I wouldn't worry about parking around here. There's lots of parking on the side there. So you're very close to your campsite and all the spots here. So carrying your gear won't be a burden. At campsite 31, you will be waving to your neighbours, but not too bad. I'm sure they're going to be great people. Everyone who camps is a great person. Now, this campsite does have the swivel plate that I was talking about before. Very handy if you don't have your own, and you can just rest things on there while you're cooking. Up 
I like this one. I mean, all the campsites here are great, but I don't know, this one just has a really nice feel to it. It is flat, like I said, like the others, it's lush, and it's spacious. As we arrive to Campground 30, this one's nice. It is, it is the corner campground, but unfortunately it is closest to Warren Road. Not that it was offensive, the noise that we heard in the background in the evening, but bear that in mind when you pick this one. And as we're checking out Campground 30, I'm really trying to come up with a different word than lush. So here we go. This campground has an abundance of greenery. I mean, even though it's winter, I really do love South Australia this time of year. In the warmer months, it's quite dry. And because of rain and the nature of the season, it does get this beautiful green look about it. And it's just something we don't get to see that often. We are now approaching the final leg of this section, which is Campsite 29. Plenty of parking at the front, so you can pull large RVs, camper trailers here. Can't drive in unfortunately, those bollards just get in the way. But you do have this beautiful shelter. So if you don't want to set up a gazebo or anything like that, you can just use that. Or if you've got a small tent or whatever your platform is, um, you can certainly use that. And there's a little fire pit um, tucked behind the log. Make note though, not as much grass here. So this is probably a highly used one, I'd say. Yeah, which is unfortunate, because most of the other ones do have a lot of grassy area. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed Camp's Grounds 29 to 35. Uh, I think Eva's enjoying the um, splashing the puddles, but look, only, so, only just a little bit more to go uh, and we're finished up here. Remember, camp by me and you'll be a happy camper. Show me how strong you are, Nelly. How do you do this? Come on, rah, just bend it. Come on. Come on, show me your monster strength. Look, try it in the middle. No, turn it around and push it towards, yeah, push it to me. Ready? Watch. Oh, rah. Now, ready, 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 hold it together, hold it, no, no, hold it together, hold it together, hold it together, yeah, now, rip it apart, yeah, yes, sorry, next time.